In other news, in a book released today ahead of the 2025 Jubilee, Pope Francis addresses the humanitarian crisis in Gaza and the worldwide migration issue, underscoring the importance of respecting human dignity and always maintaining hope. EWTN Vatican journalist Benedict Sedergren has more. In anticipation of the 2025 Jubilee, a new book about Pope Francis is being released today. Hope Never Disappoints, Pilgrims Toward a Better World, is on sale in Italy, Spain and Latin America. It is based on interviews with the Holy Father where he addresses current issues such as family, the climate crisis, new technologies and peace. Migration is one of the Pope's top priorities. He emphasizes that it is impossible to think about migration without also considering climate change, the current economic system, and its political consequences. He insists that addressing migration cannot be done in isolation because the interconnection between these factors is absolute. For the Pope, migration serves as a lens through which to view the broader realities of what is happening in the world today. It needs to be said clearly, there are those who systematically work by all means to drive away migrants, and this, when done knowingly and deliberately, is a grave sin. Referring to the war in Ukraine in his book, the Holy Father praises the acceptance of refugees in Europe. He also discusses the Israel-Hamas war and calls for an investigation to look into claims that Israel's military operations in Gaza might constitute genocide. The Pope isn't taking a stance on whether genocide is happening or not. Instead, he's emphasizing the importance of an investigation. He suggests that if there are claims of genocide, a thorough investigation is required to determine whether the conditions for genocide criteria A, B, C and D are met. If these conditions are fulfilled in the current circumstances within that region, it would then require a formal declaration by the international community. As the 2025 Jubilee is approaching, Pope Francis includes an invitation to be pilgrims of hope and recalls that hope must be the anchor and the sail that guide us toward a more fraternal future. The Pope says the key word is hope, which he contrasts not only with despair, but also with mere optimism. Optimism, he explains, can be fleeting. Here one moment, gone the next. Hope especially Christian hope, is different. It's not just a theological virtue, but also a mindset rooted in the certainty that something good is coming. At the same time, this hope requires action. It's not passive. We are called to work at building hope each day, to make it a reality through our efforts. In Rome, Benedictia de Grian, EWTN, News Nightly.